What's going on guys? Welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 24. We've almost been doing this for half a year. This is your first week tuning in and basically every single Friday I show you two proven, tried and tested winning dropshipping products. How do I know they're proven and winning products? There's a number of reasons. So let's jump straight into product number one. Before we take a look at the copy itself then and show you the product, let's take a look at the actual engagements and the numbers behind this particular post. So we can see it started on August 31st of 2022. And since then, so in a period period of about seven, eight months. It's got 11,000 reactions, two and a half thousand comments and 9.3 million views. It's pretty safe to say a post doesn't get that level of viewership unless somebody has spent a significant amount of money to reach that amount of people and to spend that sort of money, you'd be silly to do that unless you were seeing a return. However, if you've watched one of these weeks before, you'll know that engagements isn't everything. The reason being is because you can run engagement campaigns to East Asian countries and you can build up engagements and views on your ads pretty quickly for less than a tenth of a penny. What you can't do though is build up comments from real life people who have bought your product, happy with your product and come back to the post to let you know their experience. So this is where we take a look at the comment section. Just bear in mind we're taking a look at the most relevant comments at the moment. These will be the ones which typically get the most engagements. I will be showing you the newest comments in a second so we can see that this is still current, still active and still working. So the first comment is from Joel, just purchased for my wife for Christmas. There's one person who's bought this product. Christy says she wishes the mirror was magnified because her old eyes need the magnification. So that would indicate that she's bought this product. Lucinda says it was a while, but not real fast. So I'm assuming she's talking about the delivery times, but she loves it. So there's three people who have bought this product. Diane says she loves hers. There's four people that have thought of this product. Celine says she did get one of these, so she doesn't typically buy from Facebook ads, but because this product was too good to pass up, she decided to go for it and she absolutely loves it. Gemma says she's just ordered this. Callie says her husband ordered her one. Kimberly says she's got one. Ronnie says that she's got one. Sally says that she's waiting for her order, so she ordered one. However, these guys obviously aren't doing a great job with their fulfillment. Tammy says she received her order, so it's pretty safe to say that people are buying this product and therefore, in my eyes at least, I would consider it a proven one and that it's working. Something that has started to crop up though, if you've noticed as I've been scrolling through, there's been a couple of people saying that they wished that the mirror was magnified. So Kathy here says, wish the mirror was a high magnification. Lisa says this would be a slam dunk if the mirror was magnified. Marilyn says she's ordered one. Debbie says she's ordered one. So basically people are loving this product. However, there is a development opportunity. If this is the sort of niche that speaks to you and you want to get involved in this, then what I would do is look at working with a supplier to manufacture this product for you, but also include or build in or adapt the product somehow to include a magnification. So that being said, let's take a look at exactly what products they're all talking about. And the first thing I wanna point out is it's quite a short and simple ad creative. It's less than 30 seconds long. There's nobody talking in it. I don't believe she even shows her face um, full on. I think there's a side preview there. It's probably filmed on an iPhone, super quick, super cheap, super easy to create. But at the end of the day, it clearly benefits fix exactly what the product is and what it can do for someone and that is the key to an effective ad campaign. So all in all a great product, people are definitely loving this. If it can be successful on Facebook I definitely think there's a market for it on TikTok and Instagram which typically carry a younger average user age. Let's jump onto the Shopify store selling this thing then. Um, first thing you'll probably notice is the layout is a bit wacky. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of like a hack I suppose is if you right click and go to inspect and then at the top here, if you can see this icon, I'll zoom on it, zoom, zoom in on it for you. Then what you can do basically is just display any website that you're currently looking at in a mobile format. And this is obviously where these guys have optimized their website to do is to focus on those mobile users. If I was being super harsh, I would say that this looks like quite an amateurish Shopify store. Um, the images here are all mismatch, um, different sizes. They look like stock images from AliExpress. They probably are based on the Asian model they're using the product. Um, it definitely could be improved, but it just goes to show they have such a cool and unique product that carries that wow factor that people want so badly. Um, they look, they're willing to look past some of these kind of corners. Perhaps you could say that these guys have skipped. It's not a cheap product either, retailing at 80 pounds, which should mean great profit margins, which means perfect for scaling, which is probably why they've been able to achieve such great results. The other thing they also have as well is two different options of splitting the payments. Once you start selling a product upwards of over 50 pounds, um, especially the younger generation, I've noticed myself, they love to use these 0% um, 
split payment options. A to C button, there is no dynamic checkout button with a PayPal option and then straight into get free brushes. So it's kind of like a incentive to encourage somebody to make a purchase because not only do they get the products that they want, they also get some free brushes of use to them as well. Moving down then into the bulk of the product description. What's really weird is they have a quantity selector down here, which is super strange. And they have this limited time off, I get free makeup brushes. So they're really pushing that kind of um, bonus free gift that um, the consumer gets. And then moving downwards, I mean, as you can see, there's not really a lot of information about this product. There's a simple three line paragraph, a GIF just kind of reiterating what was in the ad creative, but it's pretty clear, it's pretty obvious what the product is and what it does. Then some random tagline of colorful, wonderful, beautiful, and then kind of like a what's in the box type image so the consumer can see exactly what they're getting. Further below this, they have some icons, responsibly sourced brand, eco-friendly satisfaction guaranteed i'll leave it up to you guys whether you think um, these are legit or these are truthful i'll also leave it up to you guys because i haven't checked whether you think this has been featured in vogue or not and then to wrap the product page up to finish it off they obviously have the typical um, review app that you see and these all look fairly decent as well so you've got david nancy donna anita melissa and they're all quite extensive reviews as well where a lot of drop shippers especially beginners i see fall short is what they'll do is they'll import their reviews from whatever a platform it is and they won't proofread them so if there's broken english or signs of kind of foreign reviews that can be quite off-putting if you're advertising in say the uk in my video last week where i was reviewing shopify stores one of the reviews was i'm pretty which had no relevance at all to the product and any potential consumer coming onto the store seeing reviews like that obviously it doesn't look very legit it's going to be off-putting and ultimately it's going to lead to the person leaving your store and not making a purchase if we jump onto to aliexpress then just to show you this product in fact we'll jump back just to remind ourselves of what the retail price is so 80 pounds this is one supplier that i found there's a couple of guys selling this product so i don't think you'll have um, any trouble sourcing it yourselves they also have some video content as well which you may be able to chop up and use to your advantage but basically you're looking at 30 pounds all in delivered to your customer and you get three different colors as well if you're going to move forward with this product i would definitely talk to a supplier that could get rid of this logo so that says nice land get rid of that logo and get yours put on there instead that will separate you from all of the competition you'll come across and look like the original seller the original developer which will be a super beneficial and positive outcome for your business so all in all a great first business which we've just taken a look at so 30 pounds all in they're selling it for 80 that leaves 50 pounds room for their profit margin to acquire their customers typically I like to work on the kind of 20 pound basis so even if they're paying towards the top end they're still looking at 30 pounds per sale in I was going to say bottom line profit obviously you've got your subscriptions and taxes and things like that to take out of it but nonetheless a very healthy profit margin moving on to product number two i actually found this one using drop spy which is one of my favorite product research tools um, if you guys want a specific video tutorial on this all you got to do is let me know in the comment section below so this particular one the post was created on feb 17th of 23 that was this year um, and it's last seen on april 3rd which is the day i record this video so in the space of it's only six weeks old is what i'm trying to say what's good about this post also is we can see there's a slow and steady increase in likes and shares which shows it's been continuously active and it's also most predominant in Canada and Australia too which is perfect because it's going out to those higher quality traffic areas so what products am I talking about then let's go through and take a look at the ad creative first I'll talk you through it basically so in fact just to point that out because that is super important whenever you see any of these tablet type products or these products advertised towards children they are trying to capture the attention of grandparents grandparents typically don't like to see children especially of such a young age um, on a phone or on a tablet or watching tv because they didn't have those things when they were younger they want to see them playing board games or doing something more useful or more creative not just like mindlessly watching videos like a zombie so if you didn't notice that at the beginning it's a baby or a young toddler watching something on a phone and instead they're giving them this so this is wrong and if you also think it's wrong then this is the product that you should get them so there's the problem and this is the solution basically it's a tablet but it's a drawing pad it allows them to create things draw things in different colors um, it doesn't smudge as they've just shown there it's also waterproof which is a must have of course if you have a toddler and then another cool feature about it as well if it shows it in a second let me see if i can find it so if you miss that is when you push that button at the bottom then basically what it does is it resets it and makes it blank so there's no endless buying of coloring pads or buying of 
um, paper or pens. It's a reusable um, coloring pad essentially, which I think is a pretty cool thing to have. So that being said then, is it a proven winning product? It's a cool product obviously, um, has 2000 reactions, 300 comments and 400 shares. It's only been active for the last six weeks. So unless there's been prior sellers of this, I think it's safe to say it's a relatively new product. Let's take a quick look at the comment section then see what people have been saying. So I just use these as communication board due to my speech disabilities. They are awesome. So that potentially could be an angle for these. Um, Geneva says she's just ordered one. Jenny says the best value if you have two kids around the same age, also as a backup and take one on a road trip. So there's another person who's bought these. Paisley says these creative magic LCD drawing tablets are easy for kids to use and erase. Um, I had my three-year-old cousin try this out also easy enough for him to use, which is good. Megan says her youngest one has one and loves it. Caroline's tagged her friend by looks of it and says this is the one that she's ordered. Bina has said she's just ordered it for the kids. Martina's has posted a picture of her child with it, which indicates that she's bought one for her child. Jane says she's just bought one for her grandchildren. So as we can see, it's only been active for six weeks or so. It's gathering a pretty decent amount of traction and it already has a significant amount of comments from people who have bought this product. So there's no doubt that there's a market for this. Let's jump onto the Shopify store then. If you've been in the drop shipping space for longer than five minutes, you've probably already said Debutify. This is the Debutify theme. This is the typical default theme and temp template and layout. Again, if I dare say it, it looks quite amateurish. There's definitely a lot that could be added to this store to help with the professionalism of it and the trustworthiness of it. But it goes without saying, if they're running this ad and getting those sorts of comments, people are obviously trusting it enough in order to purchase the product. So they're selling the products for $22. They're currently running a 50% off sale. As we move down into the product description, I, I don't like this to be honest. So they've got a title at the top, which is fine. They've got a GIF, which looks a bit too small for me. And then they've just got paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs of text. Yes, they've got the key points in like a brownie color, orangey color, and then like a greeny color. But still to me, it doesn't need to be this long. It can be two, three lines followed by another image or a GIF, followed by two or three lines followed by another image or GIF. But that being said, the reason why they're still able to be successful is because all of the potential questions a consumer would ask about this product so how is it powered how does it work is it waterproof all of those things are answered in the ad creative and therefore when they come onto the Shopify store all they need to see is how expensive it is it's $22 yes I paid $22 for that and therefore I'm just going to go ahead and buy it something else which they also do like the previous store is they have some great reviews so these all look like legit reviews this is a picture actually taken from that Facebook comment that we saw we've got the real names on there they're not blanked out there's no like Korean flags on there or anything like that or French flags to say that it's um, being sold abroad or foreign reviews. They're quite extensive. They make sense. These are the types of reviews that you want on your Shopify store. Make sure it's a case of quality instead of quantity because you could have a thousand reviews on your Shopify store, but if they all look a bit dodgy and a broken English, they're only going to do more harm than good. So they're selling this products for $22 delivered. I'm going to just check with shipping, I'm not gonna go that fast. $22, give or take. I found a supplier, top brand, been in business since 2021. It's called All Starry Global Store, and they sell a few different variations of this. So if it was me, you can get just the kind of like black option where the text and the drawings come out in green, but then you also get the colored option. So you could attract consumers on for a super cheap opening price, but then upsell them to a slightly more expensive and superior product. But for the superior product, you're looking at 250 plus a pound delivery. So 350 delivered, which is what, $5. They're selling it for $22. So you're looking at about $15-ish for your profit margins. So all in all, another great, simple business that would be easy to replicate. So if you're watching this video and you're still looking for a product to get your business off the ground hopefully you'll agree that there's two great options in this video and i hope i've been able to motivate you to take some action and get started with this business you've honestly got nothing to lose half the battle is just getting started the amount of people that i talk to that say they want to do it but for one reason or another never ever try is such a shame so if you need any help getting started just post your comments questions down below i read every single one so i will see it and i will get back to you if you want some free training to help you get your business launched in the next three weeks i'm um, Check out the top link in the description below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video on Monday. Cheers.